This is the route description for leg 6 of the High Wheel Challenge 50km Ultra Trail race route. Uh, this leg starts at checkpoint 5 and it's the last leg of the 50km race route which takes you from checkpoint 5 all the way to Greenbridge Place. You leave checkpoint 5 along the country lane following the road that says Fordcombe, no, Spellhurst, one and three quarter miles. 0 0.23 miles. Having run 0 0.23 miles along the country lane, you'll see the street sign saying Cooper's Lane and there's a junction. Immediately to your right you'll see the style and the large green world way finger posts indicating that you go over the style. 0 0.86 miles having run along through some awesome woods top of my breathing run up a little gentle incline you get to a marker post that says the world way you turn left. However, do not turn left. This is the point where the race route leaves the world way. The race route's been following the world way long distance path since William Church, which was checkpoint four, so all of leg five was the world way, and this is first 0 0.86 of a mile from on leg six to this point is following the world way. From now on, for the remainder of the route, you follow the Tunbridge Wells, Tunbridge Wells circular high world walk. It's a square disc with green and a little bit of blue logos. Okay, so it's following the Tunbridge Wells circular high world walk back to Croombridge, finishing at Croombridge Place, but do not if I turn left, so leave the roadway and go straight ahead down the gentle hill along a single track through some lovely woods. 1.11 miles, you're running along a lovely trail in the woods. In the middle of the trail there is a marker post, you need to veer to the right it has got the Tunbridge Well Circular High World Walk disc, square disc on the marker post but it probably needs an arrow pointing a little bit more to the right but there to the right continue along the circular walk along this lovely single track path through the woods 1.64 miles after leaving the single track over the stile you come out onto a quiet country lane turn right along the country lane and continue along the country lane and you'll see a footpath sign veering off to the left which is uh, after about 50 metres do not take this first footpath to the left. So this is at 1.69 miles. Ignore the footpath sign to the left and continue along the country lane. 1.75 miles you'll see another public footpath sign to the left. This is the one you want if you look into the finger post you'll see it has the high world walk logo so you want to take this footpath so turn off from the lane and you go three meters four meters and you go through a kissing gate and you'll see the high world walk the Tunbridge well circular high world walk square logo you want to head from the kissing gate straight across the field and you can just see the next style it was actually a kissing gate on the other side of that field you just crossed or you're just going to cross 2.26 miles uh, you've crossed the field or running along the, the trail and there's 
two possible styles. You want to take the one straight in front of you with the right public footpath sign. Just keep on going straight. Do not take the one to the right which veers off to the right. So continue straight over the style. It hasn't got the square circular walk logo but just this is the right way to go. So straight ahead. 2.60 miles after leaving the, the uh, trail that's crossed the fields passing through a metal kissing gate you come to a road actually a road junction which is the A264 you want to head to the A264 and you'll see a stile directly in front of you cross the A264 but do not go over that stile the Tunbridge Wells, Tunbridge Wells Circular High World Walk turns right and follows uh, along the grass strip next to the road for about a hundred metres. So do not cross the stile, turn right to follow the grass strip alongside the road. 2.71 miles, so after running along the grass strip beside the road for a tiny bit on the left you'll see the green footpath sign right next to the warning deer for three quarters of a mile road sign so you want to turn off left from the road from the side of the road and follow the footpath and you can see it's the Tunbridge Well Circular High World Walk logo 2.91 miles 15 metres after passing through a wobbly wooden gate you'll see a marker post with two footpath public footpath discs you want to turn right turn right to follow the public footpath arrow 2.94 meters so only uh, sorry 2.94 miles so only 50 meters or 40 meters after your last junction you get to a uh, Y junction where two farm tracks head in different directions you want to take the left take the left farm track there is no arrow here uh, be useful if there was the Tunbridge Wells circular walk disc to indicate that you go left and then you need to go through um, a metal gate possibly two metal gates but continue straight ahead down this path after you've turned left well it's not a path it's actually a, a farm track but then goes into a single track path 3.14 miles you've now just crossed your last stile of the high world challenge with the K Ultra Trail it's all downhill from here down into Greenbridge to finish at Greenbridge Place just this next 150 metres the path narrows and you want to be careful because there's a barbed wire fence on your right so take it easy and then as you enter the woods keep your eyes open take it easy uh, it's easy to get lost in this last little stretch of woods which will be disappointing after you've done 49 kilometres 3.29 miles squeeze through the gap next to the stile so you can go over that one if you want to make that your last stile but you can squeeze through the gap to the side of it into the lovely woods and continue along the path you need to keep an eye on keep an eye out for the main path do not veer off any side paths it's the main path 3.48 miles you've come down a steep path and join on to the main road it's a B road turn right and continue along the pavement beside the B road as you enter the village of Broombridge 3.61 miles at the Crown and carefully cross the B road if you look on the left hand side of the road you'll see the footpath finger post so go through the wooden gate and follow the 
path which leads you directly into Greenbridge Place. 3.86 miles. You've now just entered the finish in between the four giant redwoods directly in front of the 17th century manor house. So well done, completion of the High World Challenge or the Greenbridge Place High World Challenge 50 km Ultra Trail. So the last leg, leg six was 3.86 miles.